first thing they recommend, uh, and probably a good idea with everything, is to disconnect your battery. As you can see, it will shortly. I do not have a battery. So, we're good to go. Alright, first step, uh, we're going to go ahead and get these uh, wheels off and uh, start to uh, disconnect and uh, take apart the uh, brake system. I've actually got uh, a brand new set of uh, disc brakes for the front that we're going to also install on this. I'll probably do a separate video on that as well, but um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start taking the wheels off and get to the uh, brakes and uh, start disconnecting the brakes and go from there. So uh, disconnect your battery before you start. side is you're going to pull that speedo cable. Clearly, mine's not in anymore. So, there it is. Hang on the ground. So, I don't have to worry about that. Um, so, nice that I'm getting into this and the uh, the bus is revealing its aged history. Probably hasn't driven and run in many, 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 many years. So, I'm going to go through and connect that brake line there and then uh, come back to you. So, later. So I'm running into a little bit of quirkiness with that. Um, so nothing really too difficult about disconnecting the brake lines um, with the exception of rust. 
um, uh, took a little bit to break free on a couple parts, but I did run into a small issue here. So, so what I have to do is disconnect the hose from the hard line, and then right here, a little sucker. holds the brake line in and so I had to pry that up a little bit to get the brake line free and then I was able to disconnect it from the back. So, so easiest step of this job. That on both sides, another best practice that I ran into from my bug world is put your stuff in a box. Although a lot of these parts are going to get uh, replaced just in case you need these, put them all in one spot. So, start a little parts box, 